guys welcome to the sewing nurse channel for those of you who are joining for the first time thank you and welcome those of you who have already subscribed and this is not your first time thank you and welcome today we are going to be demonstrating how to draft a basic Peter Pan shirt color we will need the front and the back of our blouse or dress pattern we are going to line up a one inch border on our paper. Then we are going to place the front of our blouse pattern, the center front along this border and secure in position. Just use my ruler to secure. Then we will align up the back of our blouse or dress pattern, neckline, front neckline in a shoulder like this okay be very careful and make sure that it is the neckline you are lining up and secure in place excuse me right secure the shoulders in place like this now you're going to put a notch by the neckline on both sides after securing in place you are going to pivot the end of your shoulder slope half inch down and secure in place make sure that the inner of the neckline is close together okay guys let me demonstrate it one more time. You're placing the front, center front of your blouse or dress pattern along your one inch borderline. Secure in place. Taking the back of your blouse or dress pattern, make sure it is the neckline and not the shoulder line. And align it, align the back of the dress or blouse pattern against the shoulder of the front pattern like this secure it into place to prevent it from shifting around on your paper then you're going to place a notch on both ends okay place a notch on both ends next you are going to trace the neckline trace your neckline and the front trace your neckline in the back also okay so this is your front of your neckline this is your back of your neckline here is your midpoint by the shoulder okay after doing this now you're going to measure using your fabric measuring tape two to two and three quarter inch down that is for the width and the size of your color so i'll be measuring two inches down at the center front and you're using the same measurement at the center back down so for me in this demonstration i'll be using two inches down two inches down after that we are going to remove our blouse pattern put our patterns aside remember these notches I made you put that is your shoulder line so I'll just use some dash, dashed line that is just for guidance purposes okay now the same two inches that we measured at the center front and at the center back we are going to plot that same two inches right around to give us the shape of our color so after shaping our color we will come to the front we will come to the front of our color 
and you can go in about half inch to three quarter of an inch just one second Just change my pen in a different color so you will understand. So you come in at the end of the two inch. This was a two inch down mark. You come in, in here by about a half inch or a three quarter inch. So I will use three quarter inch for demonstration purposes. And you're making a mark there. Then you're going to connect that three quarter inch back up. To the center front by the neck here right that is where you're going to be shaping now your neck you notice on most of the um color styles when you look at somebody it look like if i have a slight v to the opening that is where you get it here so this is where you're going to label the center front for when you're cutting on your fabric and to assemble it okay so then you go ahead and you shape You shape your color. I'm doing this freehand, but you can use your arm curve if you want, whichever you are more comfortable with. And this is your Peter Pan color. So this is the back, this is the front. Okay, guys? Now, when you're cutting this on your fabric, one piece, which is the top layer, will be one eighth of an inch bigger than the underneath layer so when you assemble your color together and you put it on you would not be able to see this on the seam the seam will hide on the under part that is one eighth of an inch shorter guys thank you for watching stay tuned for our next video have a good afternoon or a good night wherever you are so a quick correction here guys so I told you all to go in about half inch or three quarter inch from the center front along the curve, the bottom curve of your color, right? To design your style. But as I said before, you can get creative with the front of your neckline. But for those of you who are designing a nursing uniform or you want a rounded edge, you're coming up from the end of a two inch point at the center front. You can come up here, the half inch or the three quarter inch using your armhole or your free hand and you curve it to get that rounded effect at the front here guys hope you have a better understanding but as i said you can get creative with how you want the front opening this will be the front opening of your color so guys once again we are still with the peter pan color so we are going to fold our fabric on the bias like a triangle okay we're going to place the center back of our color along the fold you're going to put half inch or a quarter inch stitch allowance at the neckline that's the top neckline on the sides you're going to come three eighths of an inch and on the bottom you're going to come three eighths of an inch this is for the top of the peter pan color when you open this out it's going to be one big piece to go around from your center front to your sh over your shoulder your back and to come back around to the front you have to cut another piece of this but you're going to cut it one eighth of an inch smaller than the top you put the same stitch allowances then you're going to put your interfacing within your color. You press your interfacing or your gum stay, as some of you call it in your country, onto your color. You put your right sides together. You stitch your bottom, you stitch your sides, and then you attach it onto your blouse. So in another video, I will do the assembly of it onto a blouse and show you all.